Hey guys, this is the virtuosa Diana Perrazzo and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia and I'm very excited to be sitting here for interview round two with the virtuosa. Diana Perrazzo, how are you? Oh, tired. I feel like <laughs> oh I always gosh. tell you I'm tired. Um, but I'm good. We're at Rise, mm -hmm. so, yeah, we're kicking ass. Absolutely. You've been kicking a lot of ass. I mean, when you say you're tired, it's for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How's it feel to be back? Because I'm going to get into it in a minute, but it's a pretty special weekend for you. Yeah, it is. I mean, the last two weeks have been pretty special. I got home from Japan last Tuesday, and it's kind of been uh, nonstop since. But um, it's nice to be around my friends and, you know, see everyone and um, get to wrestle with some people that um, I haven't been in the ring with in quite a bit. So That's one of the coolest things about Rise, and whenever it's the weekend, it's like, oh, I haven't seen you in months, but now we're kind of all here together. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what makes it special is yeah. like you you become such good friends with some of these people and you know like Chelsea and Britt and Madison Rain and of course Karen Q like are some of my real life best friends yeah. so um to be able to spend a weekend with them and just hang out because we don't normally get to do that and yeah. we're all so crazy um it really makes it fun and and more than just work <laughs> well you've only been in Orlando for a little bit but apparently the heat strokes already kind of getting to you I was an Orlando <laughs> resident for 48 minutes and I had to so honestly, it was my fault, but I um, when I moved in on Monday, we didn't have a mattress. We needed a mattress, so I just went and I bought one, and they tied it on the top of my car, and I thought like, oh, he did it! I could totally do that. <laughs> mattress is humongous uh. and weighs a thousand pounds. <laughs> So dragging it up the steps into my apartment. Yeah, not the most fun thing to do. No. no. And I thought I was dying of a heat stroke already. <laughs> so that did not help. No, I. I take back that I'd rather be hot than cold. I take it back. <laughs> Have you gotten used to it, though? I know you haven't been home, like, too much, especially with just right. coming back and now being here, but I think you'll get used to it. The air conditioner kicked on, so I think just because <laughs> no one had been in the house, yeah. it had to run and run and run to, mm -hmm. to work, so it works, Yeah, and uh, I feel a lot better. Awesome. <laughs> Well, there is a very big rumor that's been going around, yes. something that you and I have discussed over this weekend, actually, yeah. and that is that you have signed with WWE. Yes. So what can you tell me about that? Um, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have some exciting stuff coming up, yeah. and um, I'm in Orlando, so who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Well, congratulations if that's the case. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> so what can you tell me about corn soup? Because apparently <sighs> it is something that we need in America, yes. but do not have. Um, apparently we do have it. Oh. Uh, we're like creamed corn is the same yeah. thing, I suppose. Oh, okay. Um, but there's, Japan has creamed corn, um, or corn soup, I'm sorry. And honestly, like, I was just, I lived on it. It was so good. I hadn't had it the first time that I went to Japan. And, um, I just fell in love with it. So, <laughs> I was, it was cold and rainy in Jersey, and I was like, I really wish I could day. have corn soup. <laughs> We need to have it here. Okay. And a lot of the time when you were in Japan, it was with one of your best friends, another best friend, Zoe Lucas. Yes! Who I've also had on the show. She's just adorable and loves love a lot her. of candy. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> you guys, whenever you post stories of one another, because I follow both of you, it's like, it's just about each other. It's like, I miss you, I love you, it's adorable. Yeah. So that, that friendship and being together in Japan, what was that like? It was so fun. Um, we had met the first time, the first uh, tour of Stardom, we both did, and to be able to do it again with each other was just so fun for me, um, and especially because I don't know if I'm going back, or yeah. um, what. we just had so much fun, and it was nice to just have some downtime with her, uh, obviously she lives in England, and I live here, so mm -hmm. it's across the ocean, and I don't get to see her a lot, so yeah. three whole weeks with her is just so fun for me. That's awesome. Yeah. And you're obviously super tough in the ring, <laughs> but are there any moves <laughs> in wrestling that you just don't like taking? Um, a body slam. Out of all things. I don't like a body slam. Okay, why is that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know why. I just never... Never I don't like him. it. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, Damien used to... You have to take them. And he used to give them to me all the time. And I swear he picks me up and I go, I hate you. As soon as he's <laughs> going to throw me, I just don't like them. Okay. Um, and spine busters. I don't like them either. Okay, yeah. Those, those yeah. don't look like they're fun to take. No. So. And I don't want to hit the back of my head. And I don't want to be in pain. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I don't like them. Well, just speaking to being tough, it's not just the fact that you take a lot of moves. It's that you give them. So how many bitches' arms do you think you've broken at this point? <sighs> Lots of bitches' arms. <laughs> 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 the tally just keeps rolling. The tally keeps rolling. I'm okay. going to break your arm, bitch. <laughs> Not yours, of course. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's what's like Do I you. need to back off? No, 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 no. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends. Amazing. Well, apparently you're a big fan of Mark Wahlberg movies. Yes. How do you know that? I, I know a couple things. Okay. <laughs> your favorite being The Departed. 
Yes. Okay. So this when is getting creepy that, now. Yeah, <laughs> so when did that kind of, I don't want to say fascination, but the love for those movies begin? Like why, why is he your favorite? Um, I don't know. Just every movie he's in, I really like. And, um, so the departed I had never seen, um, until a few years ago. And okay. it's so funny. Um, because at my friend's house, like, there was no cable and it was just like watch what was on uh okay. dvd so i've seen the departed about a thousand times <laughs> i didn't have a choice if it was going to be Out one of, of my favorites i had no choice yeah. yes um but yeah i just love mark warburg i love um he was in um what is it called southpaw i believe um which is a movie about a boxer who's obviously left-handed and whatever so like um yeah just every movie he's in is just i like it Aside He's good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from his movies, what's a film that you can watch over and over? Um, I really, since a kid, uh, love, love, love Louder 49. Okay. Um, and I cry every single time. Um, what else? You know what movie I don't like? And this yeah. might give me some heat. Is The Notebook. I've never seen it. Uh, you're worse than I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I read the book. The book was good, but okay. no. It's just what one of those the things, like, I keep hearing how sappy it is. Not that I don't like sappy stuff. It's like, you know what, something's so overly popular, it's just kind of like, I might avoid watching this? Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I wasn't into it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anything else up there that you really didn't like movie-wise? Notebook, the big one. Um, no. I'm a big fan of Moana. Okay. My nephew loves Moana, so I love Very Moana. Nice. We sing it in the car. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I like too how you post a lot of snippets of yourself singing in the car because last yeah. time I had you on the show, we were talking about a lot of country music, mm -hmm. but you've kind of been dabbling into some other stuff, it seems at least, for your kind of like carpool karaoke type thing. So, <laughs> who are yeah. some of those artists lately? Um, I, like you said, love country music. Yeah. Marty's not a fan of country music so much, so we have to listen to a little bit of everything. <laughs> and, um,. I just sing along to whatever he sings, really, just to make him, like, stop singing my song! Uh, so, I don't really have any other favorites besides country, but just whatever's on the radio. Okay. Yeah. That works. You, you like, angering him a little bit once in a yeah, while? Yeah, so he gets yeah. upset when I sing the words and tell him he sings them wrong. So. <laughs> Which is always. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to wrap things up, I do want to leave it with the fans again, because even though it's only been, like, a month and a half since yeah. I last saw you, so much has happened. So, anything yes. you want to say? Um, I don't remember what I said last time, but I'm always going to thank them. Um, a lot of the last few months has, um, been really great for me and been really great for women's wrestling. So that's not at all possible Wh where we've come from, where we've been has not been possible without the fans. So always, always, always thank you guys so much. And I want to say thank you, not just for joining me, but just for being a part of the site. And every time I see you, it's so cool being able to go to someone like her for advice or whatever I need. So, <laughs> oh, thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And congratulations on whatever might be happening. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and remember to everyone watching, you visit us at alicia2.com for all exclusive interviews and features. See ya.